Simple Practice Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Simple Practice, the all-in-one practice management platform designed to streamline your workflow and elevate your client experience. Simple Practice is designed to make your work easier, faster, and more secure. In this tutorial, we'll take you step-by-step -step through the essential features of Simple Practice, empowering you to optimize your practice management and focus more on what truly matters. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Simple Practice, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Start for Free button. This will direct you to the registration page where you can begin the account creation process. On the registration page, you'll need to provide some basic information. This includes entering your first name, last name, and a valid email address. Additionally, you'll be required to create a strong and secure password for your account to ensure the safety of your data. Moreover, you will need to provide your phone number and select the category that best describes your practice or profession. This step helps Simple Practice tailor the platform to your specific needs, providing you with a more personalized experience. Before proceeding, don't forget to tick the box indicating that you agree to the terms and conditions outlined by Simple Practice. Once all the required information is provided and you've agreed to the terms, you can finalize the sign-up process by clicking on the Start My Free Trial Now button. After completing the sign-up process, you will be redirected to the dashboard of your newly created Simple Practice account. This dashboard serves as your central hub for managing clients, scheduling appointments, keeping track of billing and payments, and accessing various other tools and resources. The dashboard of Simple Practice offers a clean and straightforward interface, making it easy to navigate and access various features. The dashboard features a left menu. The menu presents main tabs that allow you to move between different functionalities seamlessly. The first tab on the left menu is the Calendar tab, which serves as the default landing page upon logging in. In this section, you can view your notes, appointments, and availability displayed on the calendar. The Intuitive Calendar feature enables you to create new appointments and schedule them for specific dates and times. Moreover, the calendar view can be easily switched between day, week, and month, offering flexibility in managing schedules. Moving on to the Client tab, here you can access essential information about your clients. This includes viewing client contact details, including their names and relationships. Within this tab, you can also manage your clients efficiently. Actions like viewing client profiles, editing information, merging duplicate profiles, marking duplicates, and setting clients as inactive can all be performed in this section. The Billing tab allows you to review your billing and transaction records. Recent activities and billing documents can be conveniently accessed here. Furthermore, you have the option to export this billing information for your records or other purposes. For users dealing with insurance-related matters, the Insurance tab offers a range of functionalities. From this section, you can submit claims, review claim statuses, and record insurance payments. Additionally, the tab provides a comprehensive view of unbilled appointments, claims, and payments allowing you to manage your insurance-related tasks effectively. You also have the ability to add insurance payments within this tab, streamlining the billing process further. For a comprehensive overview of their practice's performance, the Analytics section offers valuable insights. You can view analytics for different time frames, including the current month, the last 30 days, the previous month, the current year, and even a custom time range. The analytics cover various aspects such as income, client payments, and outstanding balances, helping you make informed decisions about your practice's financial health. Additionally, the section provides access to various reports, including income reports, billing-related reports, client and appointment reports, and insurance reports, offering detailed data for analysis and planning. The Account Activity section allows you to keep track of account-related events and history. You can review sign-in events and account usage history, and access a HIPAA audit log ensuring security and compliance measures are met. To keep your practice organized, the Reminders tab proves to be valuable. You can create custom tasks tailored to your specific needs and view automated reminders for the timely completion of important tasks. 
The Settings section allows you to control various configurations related to practice management. From Settings for Practice Management, Documents and Files, Billing Preferences, Scheduling Options, Client Communication, Marketing and Account-related configurations, you can customize the platform to suit your specific requirements and preferences. In addition to the left menu, on the top right side of the dashboard you will find additional options to enhance your experience. The plus button allows for quick actions such as creating new clients, scheduling appointments, and adding availability to the calendar. You can also access appointment requests and messages and manage your account from this area, ensuring a seamless and efficient practice management experience. Now, let's see how to create new appointments in Simple Practice. To create new appointments in Simple Practice, navigate to the top right side of the dashboard and click on the plus symbol. This action will present you with three options, create a client, schedule appointments, and add availability. For creating a new appointment, select the schedule appointment option. After selecting schedule appointment, a pop-up window will appear. Here, the first step is to choose the type of appointment you want to create. If it's a client appointment, click on the radio button next to client appointment. Otherwise, if it's an appointment for someone other than a client, choose the radio button next to other. Suppose you are creating a client appointment. In that case, you'll need to search for the name of the client you want to schedule an appointment for. After selecting the client, proceed to choose the desired date, time, and duration for the appointment. If you want the appointment to span the entire day, simply tick the box next to All Day. Next, select the location where the appointment will take place. Now, it's time to specify the service associated with the appointment. Choose the relevant service from the available options and enter the corresponding fee for that service. If multiple services are required, you can add as many as needed by clicking on the Add Service button. Once you have accurately filled in all the required fields, click on the Done button to schedule the appointment. The appointment will now be visible on the calendar, reflecting the designated date and time. This makes it easy for you to keep track of your scheduled appointments conveniently. Next, let's see how to add availability in Simple Practice. To add availability in Simple Practice, navigate to the top right corner of the dashboard and click on the... Upon clicking, a menu with various options will appear, and among these choices select Add Availability. After selecting Add Availability, the right sidebar will open, providing you with the tools to create new availability slots. Begin by entering a title for the availability. By default, the title is set as My Availability, but you can easily customize it by selecting it and replacing it with your own preferred title. Next, choose the date for which you want to add availability and set the start and end times for that specific availability slot. Now, it's time to determine the days of the week on which you will be available. If you want this availability to repeat on the selected days of the week, tick the box next to Repeat Every, and then choose the number of weeks you want the availability to recur, for instance, 1, 2, 3, etc. Under the Location field, select the appropriate location where this availability will be offered. Additionally, you can add a specific service associated with this availability by clicking on the Add Service button. Once you have filled in all the necessary fields, click on the Save button to preserve the availability settings. After saving, you can easily view your added availability on the calendar, making it convenient for both you and your clients to know when you are available for appointments or other activities. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using simple practice. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.